Hey, what's up guys? Hope everybody's doing well and having a great day. In this video, I'm going to take you guys to the skies of Illinois where you're going to see something very unusual in the daytime sky that right now I can only describe as just plain weird. I've reviewed hundreds of, of videos of, of various things in the day and nighttime skies and this one here is in a, in a class all by itself. Speaking of Illinois, northern Illinois tonight around 9, 10 o'clock could see some very heavy rain showers being forecasted over here at windy.com. These are the potential rainfall totals in the, the northwestern suburbs of Chicago in the in the area of Lincolnshire, Northbrook, Lake Zurich, Palatine, I believe Highland Park's in here. Yeah, Highland Park. This area here could see some flash flooding around 9, 10 o'clock tonight. This is a forecast. It can and will change. But right now, these are some fairly significant rainfall totals coming down very, very quickly at 3.23 inches in a three-hour time frame. Looking at the potential rainfall totals over here at ventasky.com looking at over five and in some places six inches of rain in a very short period of time so once again the areas of northwestern chicago along the the western edge of lake michigan parts of southern wisconsin parts of southern Michigan, and parts of northern Indiana. Tonight, around 9, 10 o'clock, you guys could see some, some very heavy rain showers. And the stage is being set. Coming over here to the GO-16, you can see a, a low-pressure system kind of anchoring itself there in, in southern Wisconsin, and it's pulling in the moisture. And later on tonight, that could come down, once again, at a very fast pace. Coming over here to the homepage of the website, feature photo today sent in by Tina out of Louisiana. Look like a big show just sitting in the sky above their location. Coming over here to the Schumann residence today, once again, there's that activity right on time. 24-hour cycle continues. This has been going on now for three weeks. There's a 24-hour pattern of energy anomalies showing up in the Schumann residence, and right now the, the source of that energy is unknown. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that, that monitor the mighty supervolcano, an absence of data up here at the, the northeast entrance and that very well could be a mechanical glitch. Coming over here to the northwestern part of the caldera, you can see some red vertical lines, and those represent earthquake activity. You can see that the dark blue represents magma intrusion. The earthquakes are small, but nevertheless, those are earthquakes at a supervolcano, so it's kind of a big deal. Not much going on, though, with regard to large activity, but it is a, a supervolcano, and I would expect a, a little bit of activity to show up over here from time to time. Coming over here to poweroutage.us, everything all all quiet. Nothing major going on in any of the states. There are some, some power outages down in Puerto Rico. Right now, 17,000 218. I'm not sure if that's weather related or not, but right now everything in the United States is all blue, but there is some weather moving into the northern plains, so that can change tonight if the if the winds pick up with those heavy rain showers. Coming over here to nullschool.net, nothing's changed much over here. You can see that 4,000 mile long plume of sand that's making its way into the, the Caribbean Sea once again, so don't look for any hurricane activity over here anytime soon. However, the hurricanes are finding their, their way over here in in the eastern Pacific Ocean. We have yet another named storm. Tropical Storm Howard has developed in the eastern Pacific. More than likely, it's not going to make landfall. In fact, you can see how it's kind of lopsided. That means it's dealing with some wind shear that's blowing up from the southwest. That's why it's lopsided. Other than that, there's no Sahara sand over here. The, the waters are very warm, and the storms have been working overtime over here in the, the eastern Pacific, trying to move that heat up away from the equator since they can't get anything going over here in the Atlantic Basin and won't be for quite some time as long as that, that sand persists and it doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. And once again tonight, if you're in the northern Illinois area, look for the, the possibility of flash flooding around 9 or 10 o'clock. But this is a weather forecast. It can and will change to some degree. And speaking of weather, there was an unfortunate incident out in the Washington, D.C. area with regards to weather and it involved lightning. You can see lightning here making contact with a, a tree tree on the ground near the White House, right there's the, the tree that it made contact with, and unfortunately, Four people were also struck by lightning in the Washington, D.C. area a couple of days ago from strong storms that were moving through the area that contained an abundance of lightning. And you can see right there that lightning was making contact with the ground from the very intense lightning once again in the Washington, D.C. area. I want to take you guys now back to Illinois. The video footage you're about to see here was sent in by Jim B. goes back to July 28th 
of 2022. And what you're looking at over here on the right, I zoomed in on this object that Jim saw in the daytime sky. You can see there wasn't a cloud anywhere for miles. All blue skies. And there's something in the sky that's kind of an orange, yellow color that's moving across the screen from left to right. You're going to see this thing change shape. And then for no reason at all, it just simply disappears. Watch this. This is absolutely bizarre. He happened to notice this in, I don't know if this is early morning or maybe early afternoon, sometime during the day. And it was a crystal clear day, not a cloud anywhere in the sky. There you saw it change shape. Here in just a second, you're going to see this thing just go completely out of sight. Right there. Just gone. Where did it go? And what was that thing? It wasn't a comet. At least I don't think it was a comet. doesn't appear to be a, a meteor or an asteroid because it doesn't have that, that bright glowing head. It's just got some sort of an unusual color about it. It almost looks like a, a flame in the daytime sky. You're going to see it change shape right here. It goes from an elongated shape down to a much shorter version of itself. Still about the same color. It's more orange now than, than yellow. And then it just simply disappears like a flame that, that just extinguished itself right there. It's just gone. Or it went through some sort of a, a portal. I have no idea. Like I said earlier, I reviewed a, a lot of video footage of of various things in the day and nighttime sky. And this one here is a classic. I've never seen anything quite like this. At first, I thought, okay, we've got some sort of a, a meteor in the sky, but there's no bright head. The friction that's generated by, by meteors that enter the atmosphere creates a, a very bright light there in the front of the, the tail. And this one does not have a, a bright light at all. Just what looks like some sort of a, a flame in the daytime sky above Illinois. Not sure of the location. I believe it's in northern in Illinois and once again this video footage was sent in by by Jim B from July 28th of 2022 if you guys have any photos or videos you'd like to share you can send those to reports at mr mbb 333.com and if you guys have any large videos you'd like to share that won't fit in the email you can come over here to the home page of the website find this red tab here click on it that says have a large video and drag and drop your video right there into that tab and I'll take it from there but but please include your name just your first name Name, location and the date thanks for watching have a super day and be safe out there